and last but not least, here we have the presentation and we created our table of contents if you followed all the previous videos. That's how we managed to do all these. So just a really quick recap. We created paragraph styles to tell InDesign what we wanted in the table of contents. Then we created a style for how the table of contents is going to look. In this case, we created number number lists. Number this is level one and level two. And then finally, we use the layout table of contents to create my little table of contents, which is working quite nicely. Now, I wanted to be able to create I don't know like a little fancy sort of thing presentation um, here to to show my client. And the, what, what I'm going to show you is how to export these in a, in a quite interactive, not interactive, but quite a nice way. It looks quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I want you to go Command E to export, and I'm going to go to my desktop and on my format, let's call this my presentation. And what I'll do is I want you to go to your Flash Player, click that, and what we're going to do is it's with file, so we're going to save it. And really, um, without getting into a lot of detail, I'm just going to show you quickly um, how this effect looks like. It's got a bit of a disadvantage, I think, which is an SWF file. But in terms of the presentation, it can look quite nice. And make sure we've got a HTML file, we've got uh, SWF after exporting. We want to leave it at the same size. You can actually increase the size, you can scale it up or down, you know. I'm just going to leave it all on. But make sure options, it's on and you have include interactive page curl this is quite important to have this uh, page curl happening and all I'm going to do is you can see all the typefaces and everything it's going, they're going to get embedded click OK that's not a problem with the color space and what this does is going to create a little presentation a little swift file of this presentation that's a little bit more interactive than just clicking through pages um, and we use it sometimes because you know you can actually add links and you can create your own you can customize your own um, links and stuff we're not doing this in this presentation but this is sort of what it looks so you've got the little branding thing the cool thing is that the the page curl what it does is if when you come down the bottom you can see that it gives you that nice little sort of flicking page effect uh, so you can flick through the pages and ta -da, table of contents we got it cool thing about this table of contents and probably I should have done a little navig a little button here that would always take me to the table of contents or a navigation where you can go which you can have access to these at any point but what I want to try to show you is that when you click in any of these for example if you go to the logo inside a circle it actually takes you straight away there so for a client it's really cool and it's really easy to you know they're just flicking through pages like if they were reading a little publication it's quite easy simple to do it's gonna make your work look very nice, very, very, very sexy, and your client believing, and I've seen their eyes, they're gonna love it. This has got its disadvantages, but for now, I think it's pretty cool. It looks great. We're really happy. The client is happy. Thanks, Fight, to give us a hand and let us show this really exciting branding that it's coming up. And for people that are watching this video, hope you actually enjoy. And by the way, this is just a little bit of um branding. Uh, presentation that we do here at Blue Melon Design. Have a good one. Bye.